Like many other cities across America, Cincinnati has honored Dr. Martin Luther King by naming a road after him. Ironically, it runs right past the University of Cincinnati, where the connection with Dr. King runs right through the middle of the football program. Hands it off, and Abernathy breaks the tackle at the three, spins his way into the end zone. It's always good to have your closest friend and associate to say something good about you. And Ralph Abernathy is the best friend that I have in the world. They were like brothers, um, even down to the suits and the hats that they wore. They would even dress alike. They wore the same cologne. They shaved. The, they used the same shaving cream. cream shaved the same way. Um, it's just like they were brothers. They were partners. Um, it's like whenever you saw one, you saw the other. Ralph's grandfather died in 1990. Ralph was born in 1992, so he never had the chance to meet him. But he certainly knows who he is. Well, I haven't taken any history classes here, but back in high school I did. And my, we would talk about the civil rights movement and things like that. My grandfather was always brought up. Um, it's just, it's kind of weird being in that situation. I mean, you're sitting down learning about somebody who is a part of your family. It just, I mean, it always trips me out every time. His freshman year, the Bearcats were invited to play in the Liberty Bowl. In history, net reality. It was just a weird, it was just kind of interesting and weird. Uh, it was a little eerie kind of just being in the city and uh, knowing I was about to play a game in the same city where Martin Luther King was shot and my grandfather was there. The whole history of the city and my family being there and me being there, it was just kind of interesting. Out. He's at the 30, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown! Ralph David Abernathy the fourth. Originally, I didn't really think about it, but I mean, after I ran the touchdown back and my whole family was there, I had my grandmother there with me, I had my two aunts, my dad, my uncle, I had so many people from the Abernathy family that were there with me and they were like, you had some, some angels watching over you tonight. And I, I honestly have to believe it because, I mean, it's just weird to be in that city and have something that magical happen at that time. And for it to happen to me, knowing what happened in Memphis, it's just, um, I mean, you've got to sit back and just be thankful. The Abernathy name brings with it a strong heritage and an equally large responsibility. But as Ralph David Abernathy IV makes his own name, he understands who he is and where he came from. Day one is something that's been ingrained in me. Um, it's something I've been taught since I was three, four years old. Um, it's just something that I live with. Uh, my father says everybody has their own cross to bear and that's just my cross. I don't look at it as a, a, a penalty. It's more of a blessing. Um, it just kind of propels me to be the best that I can at all times. I still have a dream. It is a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. I have a dream. Martin Luther King Day to me is just uh, another one of those holidays that you gotta, um, you just take time to reflect on the things that Martin Luther King and people like my grandfather and, and people like that, Al Sharpton, Jesse Jackson, the things that they did so that um, I could be in the position that I am today and my teammates can be in the position that we are in today. It's just, I take time on this day to reflect and think about the things that those people did.